Hey guys, me Cody. Er, it's me Cody. That's better. Um, as you can tell, I'm not on I'm not on a site that you guys may know of. Um, it's kind of a weird website, but it's pretty cool. It's a very very awesome website. Um, this 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 thing, this video is gonna be about um how to hack Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, there's many ways to do it. There's Revolution. There's Gecko OS. Revolution is very complicated, and I'll get into that later. But we're just gonna be doing. <coughs> excuse me. We're just gonna be doing Gecko OS. So this is just basic standard texture hacks. It just, if you don't know what a texture hack is, it just makes your character look different than what they're supposed to. It's kind of weird, but I don't know. It's really weird, but still. Um. So yeah. Here's how we're gonna start it up. I'm not gonna show you what. I'm only gonna show you this stuff on the computer because it's easy. It's really easy stuff. It's not. It's, it's nothing that you can't do that you couldn't do if you didn't know about it. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is have an SD card in. And if you don't have an SD card, I'm sorry, it probably won't work. You can probably try with an USB, but it's not gonna work as well. So start. I don't have an SD card in, so I'm just gonna. Oh, wait, I do. Oh, I don't. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna make a random folder and just pretend this is your SD card, okay? I'm just gonna make a folder. And then, oops, I gotta make it bigger. Don't mind this stuff. Okay. I'll just make it. I'll just call it new folder, I guess. Yeah, it'll just be called new folder. No, okay. So, inside this folder, supposedly it's your SD card, like the from we had from before, okay? So you're gonna to want to make a folder if you don't if you haven't already called apps. Okay, go into apps. Well, these will all be in the description by the way. Okay. Type in Gecko OS. Right over here. Go Ebrew. Ebrew is a very like very nice site, so it's really reliable and stuff. Okay, now download it on there. Okay. Now once you have Gecko OS, I hope it, I might be going fast, but I'll, I'll if you need if you have any questions, just ask me or just PM me or something. Um, so yeah, so now you have Gecko. I'm gonna rename it. You don't have to rename it, but I rename it so I can remember what it's called. Okay. Now you put Gecko OS on your SD card in the apps folder. And they're inside that Gecko OS folder. Cut the folder and take that and put it out here. So you should have Gecko OS and whatever that number is, 1931. Now get rid of the Gecko OS. Okay. So inside Gecko uh, Gecko thing, you should find this Documents folder. You don't need this. You just need this middle one that has. And then go to this one. And you go to this one. Okay. So you can obviously, okay, so starting from the beginning, you go to apps, gecko1931, and the, the second one, I'll delete these two. Delete both of those. <coughs> go in here, go to HBC, that's Homebrew Channel, go the top one, and that's the one you need. So now, cut. Paste. Yes. So now inside there, there should be um, boot dot elf icon and meta. All the files you need. Okay. So now you're done with that. Now the second thing you need to do is make a folder called private. Okay. Inside this private folder, you gotta make a folder. Cause that other home, I did that other one, but I'm just remaking all of all, some of them because they're really bad. Make a folder called Wii. Inside Wii. Oops. Make a folder called App. Inside App. Oops. Yes, okay. Inside App, make a folder. R S B E. Inside R S B. Make a folder called PF. Inside PF, make a folder called Fighter.
and this is just in more in depth. Um, look at my other one to find the find the link links to what I'm talking about because I don't really want to explain it again. So for this, each character has their own special folder and stuff. It's kind of stupid, but they have their own special folder, different names and everything. Um, I actually I will put the links in the description to their names too. Like Link is Link, but Mario could be like or like King DDD is just DDD, or Bowser is Koopa. It's weird, but it, that's how it's gonna be. So for this one, we'll do Mario. Okay, go inside the Mario folder. Minimize. Go to this website. It's a very good website. You'll you'll find it in the description. Click the character. Click on characters right here. Click the character you want. Now you can scroll down to all these and click whatever one you want. They should all work. Um, what kind of texture do I want? Probably should have picked this out before, but oh well. Let's see. I don't know who to pick. I'll do Primeape. I guess I don't know why, but I'll do that. You you click on him. Click on people get confused. Click on the name. The name is the one you click on. Click on that. Download it. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? That's weird. Okay, so now you're done with that. Now we're done with the internet completely. Okay, so now grab this folder. That's a, the folder that you, the thing that you just got. And okay, and then inside the Mario one, you drag this folder in. Okay, and each one has to be named a certain thing. See, if it says, fit, for each character, it has to say fit, then whatever the character's name is, then zero, 00 for the normal costume, zero, 01 for the regular, for the second costume. Like, I'll give you that list too, it's no big deal. Um, just, just, you'll, just, um, name it one through six, I think it is, usually. Um, the second one, the second digit, name it one through six, uh, to see what costume it's gonna be on, because I don't know what costume it'll be on. But that is done. Ha you're done hacking. That's it. And you put this folder on your SD card, and you're done. Um, just load up Homebrew Channel. Look, go to Gecko OS and load it up. And then click the costume that you want, and you are done. Um, if you need any, if you have any questions or anything, just tell. Them, just ask me. And okay, bye.